chance for Hogs pick up and throw on this one. It's always harder to start when and run a single when you're on the back foot. Oh, that was in the air. It's superbly timed. It's going to go away for four. It's interesting to see just how far it was from Steve Waugh when it was passing him at shot cover. Shot made in India. They're enjoying themselves. It's been a very, very good cricketing spectacle this today. He's got it. Batted all the way. 50 to second in Luka. What a pleasure it's been to watch him back today. There's a guy at uh, mid on. He's staying as far back as he can. He's in the circle. Oh, he's oh, gone. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Eh? That were like stealing candy from schoolboys, didn't it? Like that one there. Well, he really has peppered that offside field Tendulkar today. And he's done that again off that last delivery. 82 for two, India. Sachin Tendulkar on 62 from just 60 deliveries. Man out there. And he's holed out. And that will be a big disappointment to the Indian captain. 95 for three. As he goes down and goes over the top. And has he got it well enough? He has. He beats Slater. 11 boundaries in the first 14 overs. And that's the first one for the subsequent 13 overs. In the air, lovely shot. The class player can do that. The on-drive over mid-on off the opening bowler is a class shot from a young, classy player. India 151 for three after 30. Pulled away, and this should go all the way to the fence. Really got stuck into that one, Rahul Dravid. And it was a no-ball signal by the Empire at square leg. So obviously he thought that it was over the shoulder of uh, Rahul Dravid. Didn't matter. Four runs for the Indians. He's got to come back and bowl this one pretty well. Beautifully timed by Rahul Dravid. This should get him his 50. This is as good a shot we've seen all day. David Hooks was saying it's a difficult shot to play, and he did play it there magnificently well. Dravid 50. And... Uh, we said right at the very start, this man is full of class. And uh, the teammates are pleased. That bloke's pretty pleased as well. Well, the, this young kid has a future and a half. Well, two shots there from Dravid, which had a stamp of class written all over them. In the air and straight to the Australian captain. So just what Australia wanted, the wicket of Rahul Dravid. India losing their fourth wicket. Ay, ay, ay. 205 for four. Robin Singh, the all-rounder out there in the middle. They're punched off the back foot. And he'll look for two. One thing you'll notice here, Jeffrey, very quickly, that he is like lightning between the wickets, Robin Singh. Well, that will help India. 41 overs gone, India 208 for four as law continues to Azaruddin. Pulled away, this should be four runs. He's split the gap on the onside between long on and deep mid wicket. Yeah. Robin Singh, the batsman on strike. Pulled away by Robin, and this will be all another boundary for the Indians. Similar shot to what Azaruddin played earlier in the over, but this time it was the left-handed Robin Singh. This time he might just find the fielder in the deep. Yes, he does. Straight to Michael Slater, and India lose their fifth wicket. Now that's well played. Two twenty-five for five. And that's well placed. 
just short of the boundary. That one's gone into the moat, and I think it's damp where that one's uh, disappeared into the moat, so we could have another problem with the ball. Well, Azarudin seems to prefer the ball that's short of a length from Stuart Law. He's picked up a couple of these short balls. But none of the batsmen have managed to drive Stuart Law so successfully off the front foot. He's that slow that they feel that uh, they don't quite get to the pitch of it. They're going to spoon it in the air. The lazy footwork there from Azruddin. Yeah, he's, he's trying to stay back all the time to the legs, but he feels that's his best option of hitting it. He's not keen to come forward and hit him on the half volley or use his feet and get to the pitch. This time he gets there on the half volley, and it is a six. Well, eventually, he tried a bit of neat footwork. Got inside the line, came down inside, lovely footwork, and smacked it to the extra cover boundary. This is a huge one. This has gone miles. It's almost come into the commentary box. Well, there's a moment when I thought he hadn't quite got to the pitch of the ball, but he just went through with the shot, and that is a big six. Really huge. As a knew straight away that he'd got all of it. He wasn't bothering about running. He was only interested in how far it had gone. As we're in on 94 now. has taken a very good catch there at the second attempt. That was hit hard, and I wouldn't think it's all that easy to pick the ball up. Well, I think it was a blinder of a catch. He sort of sliced it off the middle, opening the face. It went quite quickly, very awkward, and he is a fine catch. He seemed to hit him in the chest, and then he juggled and caught it. Top innings by Azarudin. And this is the match to decide who goes in to meet South Africa in the final. Once again, they're testing out Michael Bevan's arm. They realise that he's got a problem. And uh, Jardasia was going to go for an extra run, but uh, Nay and Mongi are pointing out that the ball hit him. Yeah, that's not normally Michael Bevan's throw in. He's usually much flatter and quicker than that and much more accurate. Cleared uh, mid on and it's cleared the boundary. Huge hit for Jardasia. Slater at long on and he can't get to it. And it's cleared the rope. Slater is now signaling four. And the umpire has changed his decision. That could well be a boundary. McGrath can't believe that he's uh, produced such a bad delivery at that stage. Another boundary. Not quite so convincing, but they all count. Just a look at the draw. within one run of their highest against Australia in a limited over international. <laughs> 
So India have equaled their highest score against Australia in a one-day international. That was after Mark Taylor won the toss and sent India into bat. Or was a dangerous ploy? Maybe an indication of the uh, lack of confidence he has in his bowlers at the moment. It's a very good pitch, but someone's going to have to play a blinder for Australia. India getting uh, good scores from Tendulkar, who really squandered a big one. But Azruddin played beautifully for 94, and Australia, well, they're bowling not much to uh, rave about there. A lovely shot there from Mark Taylor. That one will reach the boundary, all right. Well, oh, lovely timing there from Mark Taylor. Good running again, putting the pressure on the field a bit, brilliantly picked up by Joshi. He's a non-natural hand, if you like. Slower ball there. Beautifully and bowled. And a chance here if he hits. Oh. oh, dear, oh, dear. What an opportunity. Did everything right, but hit the stumps. Yay. And a lovely shot. Brilliant shot by Mark Taylor. No slip in at all. And he's just glided out with the pace of the ball. 59 for none. If you look at the Indian fielders, they're all basically on the outer perimeter, aren't they? Oh, oh, no. And the umpire hasn't moved. Mark Taylor hasn't moved. He's hit the wave in his eyes. And Kumble will take his cap a little bit more aggressively than normal. 59 for none. That's out. That's out. What a great shot from our camera. So a chance here for a run out that the keeper's in if he hits. And Mongius appealed and called for the third umpire. So very good. And Mark Taylor, as we've seen, just lumbering a little bit towards the end of the 22 yards. See the half volley, not easy to pick up, and safe. Because I thought it may have just flicked the stumps on the way through from Mongia's reaction, but that wasn't uh, what happened. And 16 O's, and just six boundaries for the Australians. Uh, set the field a little deeper early on. Big wicket for Robin Singh. Very, very big wicket for India. There's one wicket Australia didn't want to lose. That was Mark Waugh. Australia, 84 for one. Robin Singh has just picked up his first wicket in international cricket. Mark Waugh, extremely annoyed. Oh, one more. Two and two balls. Stuart Lloyd is very, very unhappy with that. Break the shot mid wicket. Australia lose the second wicket sensation here at Mohali. Not only has he got his first, he's now got his second, and he's on a hat trick. Australia, 84 for two. Mohali is erupting. This is a hat trick ball. Safely negotiated. Pretty good athlete, uh, Robin Singh. But look at the way he's. Uh, he grabs it, hits the deck, and he's up in position to throw very quickly. Very enterprising, very hard-working cricketer. He's waited a long, long time for this moment. Yeah, and a very good piece of feeling by Robin Singh. He's a live wire in the field. Pretty easy to be a live wire when you're just taking a couple of wickets, but he has been a live wire anyway. And look at that. Saved the one. And that's 50 for Mark Taylor. It's been a fine innings by the Australian captain. This is a lucky ground for him a second time. Australia uh, produced a very good victory here 
in the World Cup semi-final. Good save there from Doshi, but silly cricket to follow up. And he'll be kicking himself now. Silly cricket. Mongia didn't have much chance with the batsman charging back there. His view was blocked. Good change of pace there from Sunil Joshi. He beat Steve Warren the flight. That's a very clever piece of bowling. Ah! And a big shout, and Taylor is gone. So once again, India have struck twice in a row as they did earlier in the innings with Robin Singh. Chance here. Later, the diving effort had to be a direct hit. Four runs. That'll do the Australian need. Oh, he smashed that. He positively smashed that through the covers. And you can tell it went for a four from the silence around the ground. Well, the run's really flowing now for Australia. This might just be the period in which the match turns around. Well, Prasad brought back to the pavilion end. Has done exactly what India need. He's got rid of Michael Bevan. This is a big wicket for India, and it comes at just the right time, and the game was slipping away from them. Venkatesh Prasad has done the trick. And there is the 50 to Michael Slater. So, he's got his nose in front, and no one will beat him from here. Well, fantastic innings by Michael Slater. Almost single-handedly, he's brought Australia back into the game, not only back into the game, with a serious chance of winning it. This is a run out. He leaves God. Just what India needed. Another wicket coming. A misunderstanding here between Michael Slater and Ian Healy. And this is what happened. Ball was played by Slater to mid-wicket. Started to go. Somebody said no. It looked like Michael Slater in the end. And Ian Healy. Hamstring problem and all, just short of his crease. And what a wicket for the Indians. And they are pleased as punch and rightly so. So Ian Healy, run out for two. Australia 248 for six. Everything seems to be happening here. And Mohali. Australia losing two wickets pretty quickly. And almost a third one here. Good throw here by Srinath. And I think Slater might have just made his ground. Yes, he has. But they need this man. And he's given him. Slater isn't happy. But the Indians are delighted. Srinath has trapped Michael Slater leg before wicket. He might have just walked across the stumps too far. But what a blow this for the Indians. The last 10 deliveries have seen three wickets fall. And Slater goes a long way across the stumps. The pitch is in line. And a good decision by the umpire. Michael Slater not realising, I don't think, how far actually he'd gone across. But a terrific innings by Michael Slater. Rifle, the man on strike. Gives him the charge and gloriously played through the covers. This should go all the way to the fence and this should take a little bit of the pressure off the Australian. A good running here by the Australians coming back for the second. And they'll get another run. There's a misfield on the backup. What a match this is. 
fortunes fluctuating all the time. And now it's anybody's guess as to who will win this game. And he's bowled him. He's gone through Paul Rifle's defense on El Kumle and knocked back that off stump. 265 for eight. He's bowled him with his last delivery, looking to swing across the line, missing it all together, and Kumble again disturbing the furniture. 48 overs gone, 273 for nine. Well, not the smartest of shots from Jason Gillespie. We just discussed what the situation was with one ball remaining and Kumble's over. So he gets bowled, 273 for nine. Long chase for third man, he can't get it. So welcome boundary for the Australians, a hush in the crowd. McGrath has to play straight, and Prasad would still be backing himself. You have to have your money on India, with Prasad to McGrath. Yeah. Look for second, yeah, and he'll get it. This really is a good over for Australia. He gets another single, he'll push the fielder here. And he wants the second, he's going for it and he gets it. Well done, Glenn McGrath. 49 overs gone, 284 for 9 Australia. Well, he can't believe that Glenn McGrath has kept the Australia in the game. That's why Mark Taylor is smiling. But every man on the circle, so they're prepared to give the single to Hogg, which could be a dangerous situation. McGrath has been playing straight, putting his foot down the pitch, but Hogg needs to get a two. And he swings. A loud shout for leg before. This wouldn't be a run out of here. He's done it. India have won. Hit from Nayan Mungia. Up goes the crowd. This is what they waited for, and the Indians have pulled this match out from a situation where at one stage one thought they might just lose it. The Australians disappointed, and that's understandable. But look at the Indians. They will go to Bombay to play the final of the Titan Cup against South Africa. Well, a fabulous game of cricket, finished in a fabulous way. A run out, not the ideal way for the Australian tail to finish it. And just some calmness and some coolness by the Indians. Tendulka taking the rest of the bowl himself. He helped to get the wicket as a run out. And a very, very happy Indian team. A dejected Mark Taylor, who goes home winless from this Titan Cup. Australia's best performance saved for the very last match, but a loss instead. And Tendulkar goes home with the two victories. He goes to Mumbai. Chance all round for the Indians, and rightly so. A sensational game, a fabulous crowd, a wonderful atmosphere, and a result to the last over. What a match we've had.